welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as credit card fraud detection using state of the art machine learning and deep learning algorithms which is an ieee 2022 journal paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project due to the increase in the usage of the credit card users for the easy accessible in the online transaction facility there is also increase in the usage of the credit card misuses so this credit card fraud causes a financial losses not only for the credit card holders but also for the financial companies so in this paper the authors have used a literature review of various algorithms like extreme learning method decision tree random forest support vector machine logistic regression and sg boost so they have made a literature review of all the machine learning and deep learning algorithms with various kinds of data set like the data set like the bank card enrollment cards commercial banks in china data set records of credit card transaction data collected from the law enforcement department in china and you can see the data set like european card data set the brazilian data set so these are the things that is already done by various referred from the various papers so the authors have made a complete literature review of all the data set with the algorithms and they have made a complete study about it so we cannot implement with all these data set and all these algorithms so we are going to use our proposed model as gradient boosting classifier as our proposed algorithm or model for this credit card fraud detection and the text the, the train accuracy that we have achieved is 100 percentage and the test accuracy that we have achieved is 91 percentage and we have used a data set which is refer from a kaggle and now let me show you the data set of it so which consists of features like id overdraft credit usage credit history purpose current balance average credit balance employment location personal status other parties residence since property magnitude cch other payment plan housing existing credits job num dependence and own telephone foreign worker and what is the class which is good or bad which means it is a genuine or fraud transaction and this data set consists around 1000 data set records and this is the data set that we are going to train up with and make some feature selection and implement our train our model and also check with the test cases of the data set so before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and also the libraries required for this project so first copy the source code location go to your command prompt now go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes so after some time you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i'm going to chrome for this project and just entering the ip and now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title credit card fraud detection using state of the art machine learning and deep learning algorithms just click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page of the project So this is the login page of the project kindly note that this is a static login because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin 
and admin and then click this login button and now you can see the login success message click ok now it will be navigated to the upload part of the project so where you need to upload the data set that i have shown you so just select this choose file and go to the project folder and select this upload.csv file and then click upload button So once the data set is uploaded, it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the data set that we have shown you before. So just scroll down till the end of the page and you can see the complete data set has been loaded into the project. So now click the button click to train or test. Now after few seconds you can see this training finish message click, click ok now it will be navigated to the main part of the project that is the prediction part so in this prediction part we will be entering the test cases and we will be seeing the prediction result of this so let me show you with the first case with the credit usage so let me enter the credit usage as 24 and credit history is delayed previously purposes for new car current balance is 4870 average credit balance is less than 100 and personal status is male single other part is none property magnitude is no known property age is 50 cc age is 53 and other payment plans is none housing is for free job is skilled number of dependents is two foreign worker is yes so let me check the prediction result for this test data so the prediction result is fraud so this is a bad transaction this is been classified as fraud transaction so let me click this prediction menu again to enter the next case and check the prediction result of it so credit usage let me enter as 36 credit history is existing paid and purpose is education current balance 9055 average credit balance no known savings personal status male single other parties none and property magnitude no known property cc average is 35 other payment plans is none housing for free job is unskilled number of dependents is 2 and foreign worker is and then click the prediction result and you can find the prediction result is good so this is not a fraud transaction and let me show you with the next case with the credit usage of 24 credit history is existing paid purpose is for furniture equipment current balance is 2835 and average credit balance is 500 to 1000 personal status is male single other parties is none and property magnitude is life insurance average mage is 53 other payment plans is none housing is worn and job is skilled number of dependents is one and foreign workers is yes and let me click the prediction result for this and the predicted result is good for this and let me show you the final case of credit usage with 12 credit history is existing paid purpose is for new car current balance is 1295 average credit balance is less than 100 personal status as female other parties none property magnitude as car average 25 age is 25 and other payment 
is none housing is rented job is skilled number of dependents is one and foreign workers is n and let me check the prediction result for this so the predicted result is fraud so for the instance i have shown you with the few test cases and you can check with the other test cases or the data set that we have trained up with to find the credit card fraud detection and let me move to the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part we can see the performance analysis parameters like recall f1 and prediction values here and the confusion matrix for the true and the beta labels and final comes the chart part and kindly note that this chart is a static chart is not a dynamic chart because we are not using database in it so this chart is being depicted from the data set that we have trained up with so the data set consists of around 40 percentage of fraud transaction and uh, 60 percentage of good transaction that is being depicted over here in this chart part and let me log out and this is all about the project credit card fraud detection using state of the art machine learning and deep learning algorithms and thank you for watching